Hundreds of parents and students received goodies and school supplies during the annual parenting forum hosted by the New Providence Association of Principals at the Kendall Isaacs Gymnasium on Saturday. It's the sixth consecutive year that education officials have hosted the event in hopes of encouraging parents to become more involved in the education of their children. We got a chance to speak to the Minister of National Security and a single mother of a C.H. Reeves graduate about the importance of the pursuit of performance, paths, and productivity. People send their children to school, to primary school, um, and they usually take a far greater interest in them while they're in primary school, but the, the interest uh, falls off as they get to junior high and senior high. National Security Minister the Honorable Dr. Bernard Nottage strongly believes that parents need to play a more active role when it comes to acquiring a quality education for their child or children. In fact, he says a lack of parental guidance has resulted in far too many high school dropouts, which he believes plays a factor in the escalating crime problem this country is now facing. You have to make sure that they go to school when they leave home because a lot of people, particularly uh, in the junior high school, when they leave home, some days they don't reach the school. They, they are walking down Bay Street or getting involved in some illicit activities. If the parent doesn't take an interest in the child, doesn't ensure that they go to school, doesn't know how they behave in school, uh, doesn't keep uh, an account of how they're doing with their classes, parents should know the school. They should know the, the, the children's teachers. Um, and, and they should make sure that uh, they try to keep up with the child's homework. But contrary to that, single mother of six, Tamara Weiss, is singing high praises. You see her son, 14-year-old Armani Weiss, received eight A's in the BJC national examinations and took home the top award for the public schools. He was granted a full scholarship to attend St. Andrew's School. Tamara says her involvement within her son's education has truly paid off. I made sure that his homework was done every day. I made sure that he was disciplined mannerly and had respect and that was most important. We feel as though boys, women can't raise boys or single parents can't do it. That's not true. The thing is, is that we have to discipline our kids. We have to let them know wrong is wrong and right is right. We have to let them know that, that when we're away from them and we're at work, that their teachers are their parents. We have to let them know that education is key. Although there is a stigma that young men are falling by the cracks and engaging in a life of crime, Armani says he is excited about not only a bright future, but making his family proud. I'm just happy that God has blessed me with a scholarship because it really secures my future. What are your expectations for the new year? After I leave, I plan on becoming an electronic and software engineer opening up my own company and consumer electronics. President of Commonwealth Bank Ian Jennings says the bank has invested over one and a half million dollars to ensure that young Bohemians are equipped to secure their academic futures. If we don't invest in the future of our young people, then um, the future of the country is going to be bleak. Um, so we've always been prepared to uh, partner with the ministry and really work with the ministry and try to find the most effective way that we can help advance the achievements of education for our young people.